All right, twisted gum on the Trek fuel. I haven't made any changes to that rear shock yet, so it's going to be a bit stiff, but just have a play and enjoy it. Woohoo! I think maybe I've gone a little stiff on the fork as well, to be honest. It does feel killer, but it's just still a little bit choppy. And I need to roll the bar forward ever so slightly a little bit more. Leave. It's getting nice and narrow through here. I like it. Watch out for that stump. This will test the fork. Feels good. Rear end's definitely a little bit stiff, like there was no give there on the landing, which is kind of good, but it's just a little bit too much. Oh, that was awkward. I really wasn't looking ahead then. Quite overgrown from here at the moment. Well, not overgrown, but field of vision is not not as good as it could be, but it's still good. Yeah, way better in the low setting than it is in the high setting. Most definitely. Definitely not skittish or scared of the kind of technical type stuff. If anything, it's kind of made for it. But I mentioned yesterday I was a really good climber, and it is. But reflecting outside of the weight, I don't think it's much more efficient than my patrol, the way I've got it set up, the way I got the patrol set up. So interesting to come back out here and do a climb again on the patrol see how it goes so dropping in here you really want that back end a little bit deeper in the stag oh i missed it that tree's too overgrown on the on the right there usually you can kind of hop up there and and make it happen but not today I won't do the bunny hop because I don't want to smash his plastic bike into the rock on this time up, but I mean, it's a pretty straightforward hop. The damaging if you miss it. You know what? I'm going to slow that rebound down a click. faster yeah we'll see how that feels this next bit is where this kind of shows weakness with a if it's got a poor poor setup in the back kind of standing up a little bit much down that steep right hander and then through here like i had to slow down to get on that line which is not what you want so that's just a mostly a matter of setup you do have to be more particular on these short travel bikes for sure obviously but um 67 degree head angle probably an ever so slightly slacker with the 140 versus the 130 uh 74 degree seat tube angle or effective seat tube which is okay but not ideal it's it definitely puts a lot of wear on your dropper place you're pushing kind of a fair bit of side load when you're trying to push it down. Oh, I've got a mouth full of boogies. Nose full of boogies. Have you ever wondered why I'm always, why I'm always sniffing in my videos? It's because I've got a dodgy nose. Not just how it looks on it either. It's, uh, it's always blocked. It's always like a deviated septum. So one day I'll get it fixed. But. 
enough about me. This bike is most certainly capable to, you know, stuff like this. If you stay aggressive and pay attention to where you're going, where, you, where your eyes are, you can ride most trails here in Adelaide on it and have a reasonable amount of fun. That's it, twisted gum. I'll uh, make some changes and we'll have another crack. <laughs>